Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got Aurora DSP's new plugin, Kerbes or Serbes, Serbes. I have no idea how you say it, but it's new and it sounds great. So what have we got here? We've got a stomp box pedal plugin. This is gonna be part of the drive-through series, uh, which is basically gonna be a bunch of different pre-effects. Overdrives, boosts, all different kinds of pedals, including preamp pedals. This pedal here is modeling the KSR series, which is a well-regarded preamp pedal, probably one of the best out there. I've never tried the real thing, but I really like this emulation. So you've got the Aurora DSP layout, you've got all these tabs at the bottom, input, output, you've got your gate here, which is global, presets up top. So this is the main screen, this is the stomp screen. And we've got an overdrive plugin. This is based on one of those Maxon pedals. This is the preamp pedal here. This is where most of the tone is coming from. And we've got a nice delay here as well, which sounds fantastic. The cab section, you can just grab the mic and freely just move it around however, or you can use the sliders here. There's a few different mics you can use. All good standard stuff, and you can blend between two different speakers, which is really cool. I did a lot of that on the demo too. And then you've got the EQ section. Now this is basically just a graphic EQ. An interesting choice for sure. And uh, yeah, it works like an EQ does, you know, no frills to be honest. So let's go back to this screen and just get some cool tones. So you've got lead, rhythm and clean on the preamp. All sound fantastic. I mean, it's a very different idea than having a, a tube amp emulation because everybody wants that, you know, perfect 5150, whatever, you know, boutique amp emulated. But now we've got a boutique preamp pedal emulated, which is uh, it's very different. You don't get a whole lot of that. So I'll just go through some sounds. <laughs> Very, very basic, clean, super, super clean. Rhythm, you know, you, we're getting into the more uh, up again territory. I mean, that is the default tone. I've not even used this yet. And that sounds fantastic. Let's boost that, see how that sounds. Yeah, that's sounding really nice. Let's go to the cab section, try a different mic. Let's try the 421. Interesting tones for sure. Uh, my favorite definitely is the lead channel. Just boost that. Let's 
Let's turn on the delay. It's actually got a reverb in here as well. Very nice, let's have a look, feedback, turn that up. On the pedal here, we've got a bunch of different switches, like we've got a bright switch. Uh, I do like that up. Feel, now this is uh, like a very specific kind of thing. Kind of goes uh, like a bit more like round to something with a bit more edge. Like all the way down seems a bit more edgy. Now mode. So some nice tone shaping things there, very nice. Let's use the EQ and get some, uh, let's get some wild wacky sounds. Right now it's sort of boosting a bit of like resonance and presence if we turn this off. Still sounds nice, but this kind of gives it a bit more like realistic beef. That's just the power of EQ really. So let's make a point, boost the mids. Scoop him. Yeah, very nice EQ this, you know, so I don't have to have, like for the lead guitar, I didn't even use my usual post EQ. I just used this built-in EQ inside the plugin and it sounded great. So got like a little notch there at the, uh, the scratchy frequencies, you know, three, four K. So I'll just put that around four K, bring the gain down a bit. <laughs> Yeah, nice smooth lead tone there. So that is about it for now, guys. This is part of the drive-through series. There will be more stuff on the way, and this is a fantastic start, emulating some amazing pedals. Check it out, the link below, guys. It is an affiliate link. If you click on the link and buy any of the plugins, a little bit of that money gets kicked back to me, which is massively helpful for the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.